Yo guys, what's going on? It's Random Co-op here. You guys remember this? That's right. It's the Mongoose Project. You guys thought I'd never complete it, but I did. So yeah, in this video I'm going to be showing you what happened and how I finished this bike. So the restoration of this bike was pretty short, simple, and actually pretty fun. That's because most of the problems with it weren't mechanic, but rather aesthetics. So if you guys saw the last video, or the first video that I made on it, it was black and blue with the Mongoose Crush emblems and all the other decals that it had all over it before. It was a Walmart bike that I bought in about 2009. I found it again and I decided to restore it. The saddle was good and so was most of the components on the inside. I just needed to grease the stem and even grease the wheel bearings. But other than that, there wasn't really a lot of mechanical issues going on. In fact, I didn't even need to replace the tires. I just had to get two new air tubes, fill them up with slime, and it was ready to go. So first things first, those obnoxious decals. I needed to get them off as well as the residue that they left on the bike frame. So I decided to go to the store, get a few bucks worth of sandpaper and goof off. I know it's a pretty good meme. And I started peeling off the decals. So after this, I needed to get the residue off, which I just put the goof off on some towels and I just rubbed it on there. And it came off pretty easily with some excessive rubbing. So then to go ahead and get the rest of the paint off of the frame, I went over and I got the sandpaper. I sanded it down as much as I could, and with the remaining paint on the frame, I decided to go ahead and use just some paint thinner and some other materials that, I could, that you could use to strip off the paint. So after all this, it was ready to be painted. I decided to go ahead and go with a two times lime green color and go with a black and green theme. Three coats and about 24 hours later, this was the result. Another thing you guys may notice is that I propped the bike up against the wall. This is because I took off the kickstand and the brakes. This in turn made the bike a lot more light and a lot more maneuverable in general. But yeah guys, that's probably the last you guys will see of my Mongoose Crush. This is because the project is finished and I probably won't write it on another video, so yeah. Anyways, tell me what you guys think about it down in the comments below. Tell me if you guys think I did a good job, which I think I did a pretty good job for my first restoration on video. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.